uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how basically you can uh, build a converter Microsoft Word document to PDF document converter inside Node.js and Express application so there is this web application guys you can choose your file here so wherever your file is located so let's suppose I my file is located inside this file uh, document project so I take this file let's for example if I open this file here you can see it's a Microsoft Word document file and you can see it contains a lot of pages out there so we now need to convert this file to a PDF document so basically it's a simple little converter out there you will see it contains a lot of pages out there so we will be converting this file to PDF so if I select this file here you will see demo.docx file is selected and there is a button out there if I click this button download PDF file it will now take some time and now after conversion it will download this file as an attachment you will see this PDF file is uh, downloaded as an attachment if I open this file now you will see it will like, contain four pages inside the PDF document this is the first page this is a second page this is the third page and this is the fourth page all the images that are present all the tables all the bullet list is successfully exported to a PDF document from a word document so this is basically guys you can see it's hyperlinks are clickable you can click these hyperlinks you can see that so basically these hyperlinks are clickable you can go to the hyperlinks so we will be lo looking to build this online converter kind of an web application in node.js express guys here you can select your word document file and then upload this and click on download pdf and try to uh, download this as a pdf document so for this tutorial guys we will be using this dependency which is called as word document to pdf this is uh, weekly downloads you can see 3845 weekly downloads are there so this is a very simple command is required to install this uh, module which is npm i d o c x dash pdf so this is basically the module that we are using for this application web application so various so let's start building this application I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website web ninja developer in the description of this video so you can go to the blog post and follow the step by step instruction and copy paste all the source code so now let's get started guys I show you how basically this application is built here so let me delete all the folders and start from scratch so let me just delete all these files and start from scratch so right here inside your command line guys you just need to basically install the module which is uh, very much uh, you need to install express which will be the web server for this application npmi express and we also need the malter dependency guys in order to upload files to our node.js server so npmi express malter and the third dependency which will be docx dash pdf so this is basically the third module which is required for carrying out these conversion so simply install these three modules and after installing it you will find out these modules inside your package.json file uh, docs pdf express and malter so these three dependencies are there so now we will be opening uh, just creating index.js file and let me show you a very basic example if you go to their documentation page guys if you just uh, simply just uh, in look at the very basic example you will see basically this is uh, we are importing this module at the very first line which is docs.pdf and here you just need to provide the path of the input file so let's suppose it is there inside my same directory demo.docx word document file and this is basically the directory of the output file I can just call this as result.pdf so now if you execute this file here if I say node index.js it will now create this output file in the root directory you will see result.pdf so it has created this file here and you will see basically if I open this file inside my browser 
you will see it will exactly contain four pages out there it has successfully converted that word document file to a pdf document so now we will be doing this process in the browser we will allow the user to select a file or upload a file inside our uploads directory so here we will make a simple uploads directory inside our express server so here we will be storing all the uploaded files which will be uploaded by the user so for this we will need to first of all require the express module we will start this express application at port number 5000 so we will start this app express app at port number 5000 so here we can simply say that console log app is listening on so here we can simply say app is listening on port 5000 so now we can simply make a simple get request so whenever we open the home page what we need to say we need to load a simple html form here so here we can simply say response.send file and here we will be sending a simple file here which will be called as index.html so this file will be stored inside the same directory so index.html so this will basically contain a simple form here html form so we can just say docs.pdf in node.js and express so here we will be containing a simple form here and uh, action will go to here docs.pdf and the method here will be post and encoding type will be multi-part form data because here we are uploading a image file so multi-part form data that's it inside this guys we will have a simple file element we will give it a name attribute of file and it should be required and then basically we will have a submit button so value will be simply download pdf file so here we have the simple form guys so now if i start this application you will see app is listening on port 5000 and now if i open this port number in the browser you will see that if i say here localhost 5000 you will see this form is shown to the user here we can select our doc file word document file and right here whenever we submit this we will make use to this action which is docs.pdf here we just need to make a post request right here app dot post so here this will be this one we will make request response and first of all guys we also need to import the body parser middleware body parser which is required while we are working with forms so we did not have to install this this is automatically available inside express we just need to pass these middleware functions body parser or url encoded extended to false and one other line we need to write which is body parser json json that's it so these two middleware functions we need to pass and also we need the path module and also we will need the uh, we need to include the malter library in order to upload a file to the server so we need to just require this malter dependency like this so here guys we have configured a directory here which is uploads directory so first of all we need to set this directory as static inside express so now to set this static directory we have this middleware function we need to write which is express dot static this is function and here we will pass the path upload so basically with the help of this line we are setting the uploads directory as static so here we can store all the uploaded files inside this so inside this uh, malter library guys if you follow the blog post i have written this source code basically whenever you want to give uh, uh, you need to configure the storage object here so right here whenever you include this right here we will do this process after this 
simply paste this code in the description of this blog post source code is given so here we are simply configuring the storage object here we are using the dist storage method of malter in order to store the uploaded files inside a directory which is called as uploads directory so here we are configuring or in which directory we are up, up, uh, storing all the files so we are storing the files inside the uploads directory that we created right here after this we are passing this inside the malter constructor the storage object like this so right here whenever we make this post request we are we will pass this um, upload middleware of malter like this we will simply pass in between this upload dot you will see it contains various methods out there you can also upload multiple files as well or a single file in this case we will only upload a single file and here we just need to pass the name attribute that you have given inside your form so we have given this name attribute to be file here this needs to be same like this so we will simply pass file here that's all and right here whenever your file is uploaded you will get the path of the file and here we can simply pass the path here we can console log which is uh, request dot file dot path so this will contain the uploaded path of the file guys and we can even construct the output file path we can dynamically construct this using date dot now output dot pdf and here guys we will import the module which is there docs to pdf we will require this module we have installed this docs pdf module and basically right here it contains this method out there which is uh, if you check the documentation you will find out yeah you can see that basically it's a constructor it's a method and it contains three arguments first of all you need to pass the input file which is request.file.path and then you need to provide the output file path like this and then it contains a third argument which contains a simple callback function which is a arrow function if any sort of error take place inside the conversion we will simply console log the error and if no error take place then we can simply download the file in the browser using an download method of express we will simply download the file like this that's all so now if i just reload the application guys so now if i choose the file click this uh, sorry choose this uh, demo.doc file and click this button so as i click this button guys first of all it will uh, upload this file in the uploads directory you will see the file is uploaded and then it will create this file output.pdf and uh, it has uh, if you check the pdf file has been downloaded you will see that it contains four pages out there all the images all the things are successfully exported to the pdf document if i try out once again you will see it will repeat the process once again choose the file download pdf it will take some time and now you can see that you can even you can take any word document file guys and you can convert it to a pdf document it's a very simple module that i discovered right here today itself so i just wanted to make a video on this process so it's a simple library which works in the browser side you can make a simple converter kind of a website where we allow the user to convert their word documents to pdf document with the help of this node.js module so all the source code is given in the description of this video guys thank you very much for watching this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video